Ezra chapter 5 and 6. Then the prophets Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Iddo prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of God, of the God of Israel, even unto them. Then rose up Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel and Jeshua the son of Josadak, and began to build the house of God which is at Jerusalem. And with them were the prophets of God helping them. At the same time came to them Tatnai, governor on this side of the river, and Shethar Bonzai, and his companions, and, that, and said thus unto them, Who hath commanded you to build this house, and to make up this wall? Then said we unto them after this manner, What are the names of the men that make this building? But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, that they could not cause them to cease till the matter came to Darius, and then they returned answer by letter concerning this matter. The copy of the letter that Tatnai, governor on this side of the river, and Sheth Arbonzai, and his companions, the Afarsakites, which were on this side of the river, sent unto Darius the king. They sent a letter unto him, wherein was written thus, Unto Darius the king of all peace, be it known unto the, unto the king, that we went into the province of Judea, to the house of the great God, which is builded with great stones, and timbers laid in the walls, and this work goeth fast on, and prospereth in their hands. Then asked we those elders, and said unto them, Who commanded you to build this house, and to make up these walls? We asked their names also to certify thee, that we might write the names of the men that were chief of them. And they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and build a house that was builded many years ago, which a great king of Israel builded and set up. But after that our fathers had provoked the God of heaven unto wrath, he gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, the Chaldean, who destroyed this house, and carried the people away into Babylon. But in the first year of Cyrus, the king of Babylon, the same king Cyrus made a decree to build this house of God. And the vessels also of gold and silver of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Jerusalem and brought them into the temple in ba of Babylon, those did Cyrus the king take out of the temple of Babylon, and they were delivered unto one whose name was shesh -Bazar, whom he had made governor. And he said unto him, Take these vessels, go, carry them into the temple that is in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be builded in his place. Then came the same shesh -Bazar, and laid the foundation of the house of God which is in Jerusalem. And since that time, even until now, hath it been in building, and yet it is not finished. Now therefore, if it seem good to the king, let there be search made in the king's treasure house, which is there in Babylon, whether it be so, that a decree was made of Cyrus, the king, to build this house of God at Jerusalem, and let the king send his pleasure to us concerning the matter. Chapter 6 Then Darius the king made a decree, and search was made in the house of the rolls, where the treasure was laid, where treasures were laid up in Babylon. And there was found at Akmetha, in the palace that is in the province of the Medes, a roll, and therein was a record thus written. In the first year of Cyrus, the king of the same Cyrus, the king made a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem, that the house be builded, the place where they offered sacrifices, let the foundations thereof be strongly laid, the height thereof three score cubits, and the breadth thereof three score cubits, and with three rows of great stones and a row of new timber, and let the expenses be given out of the king's house. And also let the golden and silver vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took forth out of the temple which is at Jerusalem, and brought unto Babylon, be restored, and brought again unto the temple which is at Jerusalem, even one to his place, every one to his place, and place them in the house of God. Now therefore Tatnai, governor beyond the river, Sheth Arbonzai and your companions, the Afarsakites, which are beyond the river, be ye far from thence. Let the work of this house of God alone. Let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place. Moreover, I make decree what ye shall do to the elders of these Jews for the building of this house of God, that of the king's goods, even of the tribute beyond the river, forthwith expenses be given unto these men, that they be not hindered. 
and that which they have need of, both young bullocks and rams and lambs for the burnt offerings of the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine, and oil, according to the appointment of the priests which are at Jerusalem, let it be given them day by day without fail, that they may offer sacrifices of sweet savor unto the God of heaven, and pray for the life of the king and of his sons. Also I have made a decree that whosoever shall alter this word, let timber be pulled down from his house, and being set up, let him be hanged thereon, and let his house be made a dunghill for this. And the God that hath caused his name to dwell there, destroy all kings and people, that shall put to their hand to alter and to destroy this house of God which is at Jerusalem. I, Darius, have made a decree, let it be done with speed. Then Tatnai, governor on this side the river, Shethar Banzai and their companions, according to that which Darius the king had sent, so they did speedily. And the elders of the Jew builded, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Iddo. And they builded and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel, and according to the commandment of Cyrus and Darius and Artaxerxes king of Persia. And this house was finished on the third day of the month Adar, which is the sixth which was in the sixth year of the reign of Darius the king. And the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites, and the rest of the children of the captivity kept the dedication of this house of, this house of God with joy, and offered at the dedication of this house of God an hundred bullocks, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and for a sin offering for all Israel twelve he-goats, according to the number of tribes of Israel. And they set the priests in their division and the Levites in their courses for the service of God, which is at Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. And the children of the captivity kept the Passover upon the fourteenth day of the first month. For the priests and the Levites were purified together. All of them were pure and killed the Passover for all the children of the captivity and for their brethren the priests and for themselves. And the children of Israel, which were come again out of captivity, and all such as were separate, had separated themselves unto them from the filthiness of the heathen of the land, to seek the Lord God of Israel, did eat, and kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy, for the Lord had made them joyful, and turned the heart of the king of Assyria unto them, to strengthen their hands in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel. Although it's not mentioned in these chapters, it is mentioned in the book of Daniel that Daniel has been praying on behalf of the temple and the city of Jerusalem. And two men who are classed as prophets, Haggai and Zechariah, actually traveled to Jerusalem and they strengthened Zerubbabel and Jeshua uh, in actually restarting the building of the temple and actually finishing it. And... Uh, the interesting thing is Darius at this time is the king of the uh, empire that they are part of, Persian Empire, and he actually is motivated to see to it that they have everything they need to finish it, that they have all the, the materials that they need to finish it and offer sacrifices. And as a matter of fact, he basically says in the letter to that effect, that if anybody wants to interfere with that, then they can have their house taken apart and the beams can be used to hang them from. So the people who are objecting to this temple being built become very anxious to make sure the Jews have everything that they need. Uh, it is The temple is finished 70 years exactly from the time it was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. Now there are major differences between this temple and the Temple of Solomon. First off, this one has no Ark of the Covenant. It, it's disappeared entirely. There is no sacred fire that was started by fire from heaven, by Heavenly Father. There is no glory from God. No cloud or a fire or, or darkness or anything appears, but the house is accepted of God. There is no Urim and Thummim for the high priest to have by which he can receive revelation through which he can receive revelation on behalf of the king, ruler of the people. Now, this was the temple. This second temple is called the Temple of Zerubbabel, and it's, it's the one that Herod rebuilt, refurbished, and made more beautiful.